Welcome back to FAO, a new era, already moving to the second period, the archaic period, so episode 4 of this series, don't hesitate to check in the video description below if you want to see the previous episode, but also if you want to see my quick video that recaps all of the big differences between this new game and the old historic FAO, because it's not just about the visual, there's a lot more differences. Let's dive in! We are playing in the hardest difficulty and to win we need 1000 of population, 10 houses, level 9. We're really starting to move up. As always, first pause the game and you can take a look around. We have over here, you know, some flooded area, right? Where we'll be able to plant some grain and maybe some barley too. And that's pretty much it. There's not much else on the map. In particular, you can see that over here, there is no water whatsoever, right? So we do need to make sure that our population um, has at least access to water. So it's a bit more on that side of the map. Let's also, as always, delete, start by deleting some of those roads. So it is a simple corner based on the water. And we're going to have populations. Right. We can do like this. We're going to reconnect the roads. But also put some roadblocks like this. Perfect. Then we need to make sure that we have access to the services, right? The physician, the apothecary, firehouse, police station, architect. And then I'll probably do a second corner, which will be over here, which will take the farms, but also potteries, right? We the clay. We have the clay production over here. Uh, we can put a clay pit on this. Yeah, this is close enough. Over here, it's not close enough, but there, it's not a problem. So we can have the clay, right? We can put our granary there, our stockyard over here, and then we can have our bazaar on the other side. So let's do that. You know, the bazaar be here. And that's important, you know, now you can see the spawn and this spawn. Obviously, you don't want to do this, right? Because this means you respawn on this road. But you want to make sure that it spawns on that road over here, right? And we can, for example, put a shrine. We have access now to multiple. We have Bast and we have Osiris and Ra, right? Ra is the main one over here. So always make that sure that you have a bit more of Ra than the others. Um, but we can do something like this, you know, a nice sort of Ra, Osiris and Bast, and then a few more Shrine to Ra, just to make sure he is very happy. I forgot to keep some space over here for uh, the booth. We will probably also need several of them, always forget. Oh, and actually we have access to a big one, uh, so maybe we should put the big one. It will take, oh no, it is locked for now, so let's just put normal booth. We could also in the future, you know, put another one, for example, there. Okay, let's do it right away. Now let's make sure we start making some food. All right, the grain first. Over here, we need a camp for them to work, right? And as I said, this is a new city, right? This is disconnected from the other city. So what we need to do is also put a couple of houses. You now we can do four like this. Just a bit of water and all of the important things like firehouses and architect posts. I'd make sure that this is protected. And then this will give us some population that will make this war camp work. Then they will work over here. And then we can transform and get some wheat and we can get the wheat into this over here we'll also have a storage yard next to it right then we'll have i know i'm probably i'm um, sort of building everything in reality you should probably wait a bit and produce along the way but in this case i'm pretty sure we'll survive we can also put a bit of beauty over here you know a statue there there some gardens over here, over there too. Okay, 
Now I'm guessing they're waiting for food. Yes. But we have food there. We just forgot to accept all. There we want to accept so far only the pottery. Okay, so we're making some food. We are starting to make some pottery. We already have over here you know, ordinary cottages. And now we have unlocked the bandstand where you can have both jungler and musician in the same place. We've also unlocked the barley. So we can start this one. I'm not sure if I can put a rod there. No, this is blocked. So we're gonna need to delete this one. So we've now built a couple of barley farms over here. Then this barley is going to be delivered over here into the brewery to make some beer. And then the beer we are accepting now into the storage. You could also accept barley if you wanted. Let's plaza this main road over here. Now that we're providing this beer to our population, you can see we have rich modest apartment. This is what we, we need to get to. Um, so we have a few already. We don't have 1000 of population, but we're very close. So before we get there, I do want to sh show you a couple of other things. We started the mission with a bit of money, right? But we've been using money to construct things. And so far, we're actually not really gaining money because we don't have tax collector and we also don't have gold mines. This can change if we build first the palace. This is the first important thing. You need the palace. And remember, the palace needs to be in a place with access to water. So, oh, here it is. Perfect. We can put it in this corner. When you have this palace, it, by the way, also tells you, you know, some of the key elements like unemployment directly there. We see 40%. When you build this one, you have access then to the tax collector. This tax collector is a worker. Right, this is the worker that's gonna come from here, start walking around, and we start collecting the taxes. You have the overlay over here of taxation, so you can check which one are being taxed and which one are not. He's coming over there, right? So now is totally fine. But if you have a big city, right, this will be useful to see which houses are being taxed, which are not. And it is we have one. Um, I did want to show you one more thing, so let me just click on continue uh, keep governing but again this was in the hardest difficulty we have a lot of houses level 9 and we have one more than 1000 of population but as i said i did wanted to show you quickly that in the services we have also unlocked the courthouse which is another way to reduce you know crime because this is going to send somebody to listen basically to the grievances you know or it's a court of law if you wish right so um you with that reduce again sort of the the crime and it also hold some of your money so not all of your money is in your uh, palace you can change the tax rate of course this will have some impact and with that we've actually even unlocked uh, the spacious apartment one level above but we cannot go further because we haven't, you know, in this scenario, the scribal school or library. But we did unlock one more thing, which is the personal mansion. In this personal mansion, if I build it um, anywhere, really, obviously it needs to have access to, to things, but it doesn't need to have access, you know, to things like food, etc. This is my own house. This is my house because remember that we are playing in this game. This is... A family of course this is not the same person living for 3000 years but this is a family so this is the house of the family and we can have a salary right we are the leader of the the village so we can have a salary right now zero but i can choose my salary right royal judge that's uh, that's very high but let's say five per month for example right so with this salary then my vault i'm keeping the the game running for for a bit then my vault will start getting some money but because we have already won the mission this is not doing anything right because otherwise it would be too easy you just let the game run forever in a mission that you've already done and now you start gaining a lot of money but what's really great about this is that if i am to start getting money then this will transfer to the next mission and to the next and to the next and sometimes you know, this can help you and by the way you may remember that over here we had put the firehouse and the architect but we didn't put an apothecary so those people over here are dead they're just zero occupant they're dead if we were to put now an apothecary in the future you know some new people are gonna come in and they would survive or physician sorry but do remember that of course this will take i mean this costs money to build this also costs people right to run it 
So it's not as easy as just having all of the buildings everywhere, of course, right? That would be too easy. But yeah, we have won this fourth mission in the hardest difficulty. Don't hesitate to tell me in the comments if you have any thoughts, questions, anything that I missed or that I said that was wrong or false. Please do a highlight. And I hope to see you next time for the next episode.